This is a review on the Transformers Generation Shockwave, Fall of Cybertron Shockwave, whatever. And let's check that packaging out. You can see it's plain packaging. I took the figure out already, of course. And you can see a nice picture of Shockwave in his hover thing mode. And Shockwave, Fall of Cybertron, level 2 out of 3, intermediate. Nice Decepticon symbol right there. Warning symbols Hasbro. Then over here, this is one series. Nice figure. Nice picture of the... F uh, no, that's a... Just a picture. Some art. And then half Decepticon symbol there. And at the top, you have a nice artwork of uh, Shockwave. And then Transformers Generation. And then on the side says Shockwave... In the bottom, it shows you you get Autobot Jazz and Optimus Prime, also available. Blah 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 blah. blah. And these new specs are awesome. They're like the G1 specs back then. And yeah, so here is the figure in vehicle mode and in robot mode. You could read the bio, pause it if you want to. And yeah, let's get on with the review. Shockwave is in his vehicle mode. And nothing really much to say about it. What it, it can't really do anything, but it can move his wings back, and then that's about it. Little things right here, and yeah. But I have to say, I like one thing. The weapon is actually incorporated with the v uh, vehicle, and it's not one giant weapon sticking out. So I do like that. And yeah, so let's go ahead and transform it. And this is not going to be like the cliff, cliff jumper review where I had no idea how to transform him. So, yeah. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to flip his little toes out, fold these wings up like that. And then you want to go here, fold these little bits on the side down. Do the same with the other side, just like that. And then. You can so you split this apart, then well, this part is separate some for some reason. So let's put this back on. Show you that later. And over here, you want to pull this out, fold this out, and go around here. Take out his weapon. Then you could sort of get him to stand up like that. Let me raise the camera a bit. Like that. And then, so now you can fold his arms out, split them apart like that. And then, now I'll show you close up right here on the side. You fold his hand out just like that and then you want to bend his shoulder just like that and do the same with the other side and like that and now simplest part fold this down and pop his head pops up then you want to tap his shoulders in and here you have shockwave or here we have shockwave in a robot mode, and dang, this looks awesome. But he is pretty small, I have to say that. But he's awesome. And so, let's check out his little accessory. Here is Shockwave's accessory, and in the package, it's called a laser cannon. And doesn't look much like a laser cannon. It looks more like a fusion cannon of some sort. And basically, what this can do is stay like this, or Pull that off and it turns into some type of Gatling gun, I guess. And yeah, so let's put it on him. So what you want to do, there's a little peg right there. See? Poke, poke, poke. And then you can peg it into his hand. Oh wait, no. Peg it into his hand like that. And fold it down just like that. And then he's got his big fusion cannon. But what I like to do is take this, pull this out, fold this in, make it like that, peg it under his hand, make it like a Gatling gun, 
then right here, see this little tab here? Uh, well, you can't actually see it here, but right there, there's a little hole. Then you could tab this in. Then it's like some type of jetpack. Then he's got a Gatling gun. And let me raise the camera. And that's how he looks. He looks pretty awesome. And yeah, so let's get on to his articulation without the weapon. Because actually, if you stick the weapon in, it hinders his, his, what you might call it, his, you know, his thing. Yeah. Alright, so, he has a ball joint elbow, turns, twists, does whatever you want, and a hinge in the shoulder, and at the shoulder also has a hinge going forward and back. This one goes ups and down. Upsy and down. Okay, and then his head rotates just like that. And so that's what that does. Why did I say that? Whatever. And so his thigh area has a ball joint. And then over here is a, yeah, one, it's one little knee joint. And here has a knee swivel. And then his toe, I guess, has some type of articulation. So, yeah. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, like, subscribe, hate, love, do whatever you want. Goodbye, and thank you for watching.